the hell is going on here? Babies drool. Most babies continuously have saliva dripping out of their mouth because they don't yet know how to control it. And that's okay. But sometimes the persistent wetness on the chin, on the cheeks, and on the neck can cause what's called a drooling rash. And it's simply skin irritation due to the persistent wetness. So what can you do to treat it or even prevent it from occurring? Well, I recommend a thin layer of aquaphor or petroleum jelly on the areas that tend to get dry. If they're really red and chapped, you can use that several times a day for a few days in a row. And rarely if the rash is persisting and not getting better, you may need to show your pediatrician because once in a while there will be a secondary infection with a yeast or sometimes even such severe irritation that a low dose steroid cream is needed. But in general, a little bit of Aquaphor Petroleum Jelly, wipe up that drill when you see it and your baby will be fine. Melting on my tongue. <laughs> Once the, 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 there what was a g g g girl who want, want, wanted she can't even read. to cut it out. Did you get in some trouble? Today, Junior. <laughs> You can spot no prep veneers from a mile away, literally. Totally get it, we wanna conserve tooth structure, but the issue is people keep asking for no prep veneers because they don't wanna drill the teeth and dentists keep doing them. Do you know how many times I've said no to somebody who asked me for no prep veneers and I just said, bye, you can, you can do it somewhere else. I'm not gonna let people walk around like this. There's nothing wrong with a no prep veneer. No prep veneers are great, they're conservative. It's putting it on the wrong person, that's the problem. We can all agree that this would not look good if you did no prep veneers because everything would just look really, really big, even bigger. Number one, you have to go to a dentist that will let you know if you are a good candidate. Number two is you have to go to a dentist that has experience to know that this would result if it was a no prep veneer and uses a high-end lab that can create ultra-thin ceramics. It's like everyone was so scared from these turkey videos, now they are willing to get horses. It is an epidemic.